What is going on guys, it's Gospel Gamer here. We are back on Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc and we are coming towards the end of this class trial. So Celeste is a person of suspicion at the moment. Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Oh, we died. I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but looking back, I can say that that one little slip up was your undoing. Which was... What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. You must really be enjoying this, enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're going to die here, we're going to die just like those guys died. I remember her saying that too, but I don't understand what's so strange about it. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Then Makoto showed up and told us okay. if Fumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. Yeah. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. I never actually noticed that until now as well. Oh, boy, Fucking hell. I don't really get what it means. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? By Kuri said that Celeste's comment didn't make any sense. But what's he alluding to? I'm gonna kill file three again, I don't think that that's right. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. Okay. We are going to die. Just like those guys died. And that is all I so those guys, that's the weakness. That's but what do I shoot it? It's not Monaco of Foul Three. What's so strange is obviously the two those guys. So I assume that's what I have to fucking do. We must really enjoy the sight of us. We must be. We are all going to die. We are going to die. Just like those. Boom! I did it right. Right. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys died. Nope. When she said that, none of us had told her Taka was dead. So how would she know? Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. So there was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? Yeah, how, did how did you know, you bitch? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Because Kyoko had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. Mm. <laughs> you all have such vivid imaginations. You know that? Imaginations? You okay. Okay. That I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? What about that picture? How do you explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging Hitomi away? It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? So let's put the suit on. Hmm. And then, then she used the camera's timer to, to set up the picture. Have you so sure. forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit. Plus, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. Okay. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. If everything I told you was a lie, how can this picture exist? So okay. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? Okay. What do you possibly mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. No, there is no other explanation. Other explanations? It was the picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. The only other possibility is Hifumi and the suspect have been drifting one night. Uh, they weren't done. I guess? I'll go I guess. with that one. It's not a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. 
I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. That's certainly within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, but the person in the robot suit. We've simply been led to believe that hmm. it's the other way around. Okay. And the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. If you saw someone wearing something like that in this situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. Okay. What happened? You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this. <laughs> oh dear. Such a thing is utterly impossible. How so? If Umi was dragging him away, ridiculous, is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Then shut your mouth. Okay. And allow me to educate you. Damn it, Slice. So those things you can prove that there's no way Hifumi was dragged from the suspect away. Is that really possible? Uh, okay. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out. <laughs> then you just draped me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. As okay. you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. And? If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight. Well, no, it's it bends to the hip. It bends, doesn't bend to the waist. No, it's wrong. No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Yeah, because it doesn't because bend the waist. Because Robo Justice suit had a certain characteristic. They don't bend at the waist, though. You tell you can't bend the waist. Seems like pretty obvious oversight. That's right. They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure that was a mistake. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. Okay. Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. Okay. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. Which it obviously wasn't. <laughs> well then, I suppose this is checkmate. Checkmate? Yep. <laughs> What do you mean, checkmate? Celeste? Jesus Christ. You want to cram me into your little guilty box? Well, there's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Kifumi told us as he lay dying? What's that? Hey, Yifumi. <coughs> hey, Yifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember that name. Yeah. Yes, hero. When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? He okay. said, and I quote, Yasu Hero. In other words, Yasu Hero Hakakurei! Okay. Well, name isn't really Yasu Hero. It's actually Taro. Your confusing okay. statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasu Hero. But are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hero? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Jesus! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? I'm gonna go with that one because I don't know. That's but right. I was somehow right. I'm being mean, lucky here. He called us all by our last names. Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once for example. Ah, yes, nice speech. So yes, yes, as he did, yes. Did mean to say Hiro's name. He would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, he just, his first name. Okay. Don't talk. Don't talk, Joe. Wasn't that a convenient you. explanation? No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So he really was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said Same doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to, and that's Celeste. 
She never actually told us what her real name is. It's her last name, yes, a hero. What did you just say? To think you'd take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit. Come on! Enough with your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to Jesus you? Jesus Christ. Do I? What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay, sure. fill us in. What's your real name? Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! Jesus Christ. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and You haven't over said it before. Again? So let's still don't give up, so then. I have to do something to make her accept it. I mean... The only way for us... The only way for us to tell us the truth is the fucking E handbook. If we check that, we'll know her surname. It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is Celeste. You loaded for God damn it! Jesus. How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict well, I mean, me, those two big fucking no, silencers no. were right in the way. So I'm guessing that, that is uh, that's why I had to shoot you. That's it. The handbook. What? Any time you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it before. The handbook is having to do violence and helping school life, don't you think? So don't lose it. When you start it up, you display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now this is not your everyday notebook, it has so many more uses than that. So all we have to do is check her handbook, and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Why would you refuse if it Celeste, wasn't you? Can you please just tell us what really happened? Please. Just tell us. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 because! Jesus. Until the game's over, you never know what might happen. Fine then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again, from the beginning, and shed light on all your crimes. And that'll bring everything to an end. Yep. Okay. So, what we got? So, su uh, suspect, I think. Fumi. Well, so they've got to be shaking hands, I think. So, those two. <laughs> What's with that face? Uh, how do I. Okay. So, it's act two. So, he obviously walks in on them. One, as arranged. We got. Uh, guess that one maybe. So the cameras. It's okay, so they've got him in there, carrying him. Okay, so I guess I'm on that one. Okay, so this one. So he's looking at, okay, so he's looking at his watch. Okay, so he kills him with Justice Hammer 4. Okay, so camera, him. Oh yeah, because he got hit with a smaller one, didn't he? Which is this one. Uh, Nurse's office, gets that, chucks it all around. And that's Justice Hummer. Still no side says that. Okay. Okay, so they found the bodies. 
Okay, so Act 6, he gets out, grabs on top, pushes it. Um, like, why has he got this shit and that? So that would have been him pushing the, the car, obviously. I'm wrapping it. Killer come, he celebrates, killer comes in, smack. Okay. And that was the unbranded hammer. The killer is Let's go with that. You. Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... Ifumi. Ifumi. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. Yep. Okay, so it's right with that. Oh. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. Which was Yasuhiro. hero. That someone they met with was Hero. The yep. murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. And they clipped him in so he couldn't get out of it. Next, Ifumi positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him. Okay. While the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. Yeah. He did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. When they were done with it, they shoved it, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. Okay. And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Tommy okay. to the equipment room. And smack. And that's where Hifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. The murder weapon was just Ow. his hammer four, I'm kicking shit. which was left there in the equipment room. The reason hammer number four was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. Okay. All the fucking so, hammers have hammer on them, which is so annoying. More assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims. To solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. Yeah. First fake incident was the attack in the record. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer one and the Robo Justice pictures they took. They yep. wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack store. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer two and an injured Hifumi to sell us that store. Yep. With these two incidents. The killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. So they were going the through the numbers and hammer the size. The hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But <laughs> the way his eyes go. While we did that, we left Hifumi alone in the nurse's office. This was exactly what Hifumi was hoping for. Yeah. Took a blood packet from the refrigerator and Justice Hammer 3 and turned the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. Which obviously he wasn't. He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. Is him dead? Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. Yep. God, this is so he fucking complex. Office, compared to the previous ones, anyway. Again, took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Hifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. Is that B.O. coming off of him? ...and use the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. That explains how each of the bodies disappear. But even Hifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. Let's kill them. Him, sorry. 
Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover count them. everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all is... Celeste! What the hell is going on here? Oh damn! Sorry, you lose. Unlucky Celeste. Lost? No shit. I lost. When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Yeah, but you're gonna die, so who cares? You're the killer. <laughs> Listen to you, trying to take charge, as if you're my private instructor. I. Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, no. Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. So her so her accents are fake as well. It. I'm the kind of person. Once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. So she lost her accent as well. That's just weird. Her accent was all put on. Look at that. All A's. Hey. Nice. Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no, I suppose this is the end. Isn't it? For you, yeah. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. Okay. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Obviously it's Celeste. Vote time! Woo! Bing bing bing! It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're all totally correct. The black in this time, the true killer who devised your stinking scheme was Celestia Lunenberg, or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhiro. Honestly, I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to make with someone, uh, trying to work with someone else, was a mistake after all. Ifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach Ifumi with this plan. How do you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. Hmm. I'm sure she relied on her specific uh, speciality, lying. <laughs> My speciality? Don't make me laugh. I don't have to lie to get him to agree. So then. Then did you use, you know. <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out, Kiyoko. You're absolutely right to get a Fumi to act as my accomplice. Mm -hmm. I used her. For everyone who's, who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but it was the one thing Ifumi and Taka were both super into. Does she mean. Is she talking about alter ego? Say what? 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 What are you talking about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <laughs> I'm totally out of loop as usual. How sad. In other words, then you're the one that stole it. Stole it. That's right. I see. And you use it to drag a Fumi into the plan you'd come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Fumi a little visit. Um. Oh, um. What are you doing here? Actually. I was hoping I could talk to you alone. It's about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? Are you okay it was Taka. He stole it. <laughs> so and I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it, as it turned out, I'd found use for a digital camera. I'd taken you know what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I'd shown it to Hifumi, of course. Damnation! So it was him! But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her. <sighs> You're correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. As for me, Please forgive me. He he threatened me. Oh, um, he did? As for me, he came into my room last night unannounced and then he... It's hard for me to even say. He abused me. What? <sighs> and he... He took pictures said if I... I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I... I had no choice. That, that's a crime! An absolute crime! He, I mean, I knew he'd gone a little bit crazy, but I never imagined he would go that far. 
<laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. I can't express how enjoyable that was. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna f fucking kill him. Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Huh? Actually, Taka's planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. What? Escape? You don't mean... Taku's going to try and kill you. What? Really? Indeed. And also he can keep her for himself. Mm. That bastard! Bastard, 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 bastard! Honestly. Can we allow him to continue with his barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not. How could I? She... she... I, swear I have to I save her! Actually. Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens I've come up with a plan. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen, and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> if Fumi agreed without a second thought, the effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even a love as twisted as that, can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um, you disgust me. I see. I have another question for you. What was that strange costume Hifumi creation, Hifumi's creation, sorry. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt too. All they asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he'd make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But... So why did you decide to have make me the suspect? Mm. Because you're stupid. That's it. Let's and in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity uh, surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. Mm. I feel like I could cry. Well, but <clears throat> but when you were explaining the plan to Hifumi, you plan to Hifumi. How do you explain the part about him playing dead? <laughs> what she's asking is, how was Hifumi supposed to do after that? Uh, what was he supposed to do after that? That's less. Assuming you would actually let him live. Are you okay? That's simple. After he did his plan, pretended to be dead. Once someone else showed up, I told him that he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he barely he held on. Can you really believe that? <laughs> well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained to Hifumi, the plan was... While you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi, so no one would, could doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. <laughs> it all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. <laughs> I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... So you plan to kill him all along? <laughs> but of course. There would have been no point in my plan if the one who per uh, pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? How can human life mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean. No, you sound like Bayakuya. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Why? Then, what made you take things this far? What the heck? Was it really? Just for money? Mm. Are you talking about the 10 million dollars that Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. Mm. That's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought had been escape. But... All along you've been saying how we have to escape living together you here. Obviously that was a lie. Hey. I can tell you here, I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. You I wanted to get out. Bitch. Every day was a fresh torture. Do you want to know why, huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? To live in the European castle. A castle? <laughs> and to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Oh damn, that's weird. This is weird. This is taking a very weird turn. Once I obtained that, I would have created the perfectly, perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. This is fine. Living the rest of my life hit there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what my life. That's what life is all about. She's weird. <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's ten million dollars would have made that dream a reality. I got rights on the edge, there but unfortunately, my dream has been scattered into the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I regrets, and he said that like fucking uh, Will Wheaton. Uh, I pursue my dream till the very end, and why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but you're really able to kill your own friends for it. Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own needs and my own end. Sorry, I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? 
And that's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> my ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It's just not other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared? Yes. That's indeed. right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice then, I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. You just get executed again. <laughs> That's quite funny. So they smiled then. And when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings. But that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. <laughs> You're done? Okay, let's get rolling. The black and disturbed the peas and must pay the price. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment for her. The ultimate gambler. Let's give it everything we've got this punishment time. This is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then... Take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again. In another life. Bye, Celeste. <laughs> Bye, Celeste. Let's see what your punishment is. What the hell? She even burned at the stake in front of those of Monokumas. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. It's certainly a weird one. Slow burning one. Oh, damn. Bye, Celeste. What the hell? What the fuck? Why is there a fire engine going there? What the hell? What the fuck? What just happened? I don't understand what happened there. What the fuck, Monokuma? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh dear, I don't understand what happened there. That was weird. It's over. The third execution is over. And with that, so is the episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. If you want to see more of this, do subscribe to the channel. As I upload every day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.